For this video, we're going to focus on solving matrix equations. And when it comes to solving matrix equations, the first thing that we need to do is we need to solve that equation for x. All right, so we have this equation b minus 2x is equal to 3a. We need to solve this for x. So let's subtract b on each side so that we can get rid of it from the left-hand side, giving us negative 2x is equal to just drop down that right side, drop down the 3a, and we subtracted b from it. Now, in order to get x by itself, that's negative 2 times x. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So divide by negative 2 on each side, and x is equal to, well, 3a minus b over negative 2. Okay, so this is the equation that we're going to focus on here. What we're going to get from this equation is the following here. In order to solve for x, right, in order to solve this matrix equation, we first need to find 3a. So we have matrix A right over here. We're going to take matrix A and we're going to multiply everything in that matrix by 3. And that's going to be 3a. Then after we have that, we're going to subtract that 3a. And we're going to take 3a minus b, which we have right over here. And then when we're done taking 3a minus b, we're going to divide everything in that matrix by negative 2. So the first thing that we need to do is find 3a. So that means we're going to take everything in matrix A and multiply it by 3. 3 times the negative 2 gives us negative 6. 3 times 0, 3 times 1. Then 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 8, 3 times 3. Then we have 3 times 7, 3 times negative 1, and 3 times 0. So the next thing we have here, after we have 3a, we are going to subtract b from it. So here we have 3a, and we're going to subtract b, which is this matrix over here. So I'm just going to rewrite it so that we have everything all in the same line so that we can go ahead and do the subtraction. So 3a minus b. That means we're going to take all our corresponding positions and subtract them. Negative 6 minus 0 is negative 6. 0 minus negative 1 is a positive 1. Remember that is 0 minus negative 1, just like that. Double negative rule cancels that out to a positive 1. Then we have 3 minus 3, which is 0. 15 minus 7, which is 8. 24 minus 2 is 22. 9 minus 4 is 5. 21 minus a negative 2, so double negative rule there makes that 23. Negative 3 minus 0 is negative 3, and 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So to get our final answer, 3a minus b over negative 2, we're going to take everything in 3a minus b right over here, and we're going to divide everything by a negative 2. So negative 6 divided by negative 2 is a 3. Right, 1 divided by negative 2 is just a negative 1 half. 0 divided by negative 2 is a 0. And continue going. 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. 22 divided by negative 2, negative 11. Then we get a negative 5 halves. Let's see, a negative 23 halves. Negative 3 over negative 2 makes that a positive 3 halves. And negative 5 over negative 2 is a positive 5 halves. So this matrix right over here is the solution to that matrix equation.